Hi, welcome to Madre Minutes, and I want to tell you a story today. It's called Today is the Day, and it's about salvation. It's a story based on uh, the passing of my mom, and so a couple of scripture verses I want to share with you. One in First Chronicles 16.23, it says, Proclaim His salvation day after day. And then also in Psalm 96.2, it says, Proclaim His salvation day after day. And so I always have heard, you know, that verse, this is the day of salvation. And so my mom passed away about 11 years ago, 12 years ago in April. And so this month is her anniversary of her passing. So I still remember her often. She struggled with drug abuse and alcohol abuse and was given prescription uh, medication that uh, she just couldn't battle against and for the pain that she was in. And we had prayed and talked about the Lord and prayed with her several times. So I know she's with the Lord and I can rest in that. But I just don't think she had the tools in her tool belt to battle some of these strongholds in her life. And so the day before she died, I was in Houston for a wedding and I went to see her and she was in really bad condition. She, um, she was struggling a lot. And so I had never done this before. I had always done it with my family, but I was by myself. I had my family with me, but as my immediate family, we would always, we had gone to her several times and talked to her about this to get some help. And she had been several times, and so this was not a new thing for her. But I had never done it by myself. So I just really prayed a lot, and. And I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go and talk to her about this and see if I can get her to go get some help. So I found a place for her, and I went to her, and I just said, Mom, today is the day of salvation, and we need to do something right now. And she just kept telling me she was going to go tomorrow, and she kept saying, I'll go. It'll, you know, it'll be better tomorrow. And I kept saying, Mom what's going to be better about tomorrow? And she said, I don't know. It'll just be better. Well, I could see this battle going on inside of her, this, this battle between her spirit man wanting to go and her flesh man wanting to stay stuck in her, her illness and her disease. And she, she was battling back and forth. Once she would say, well, where am I going and how long am I going for? And, you know, what's it like and then the very next second she'd say get out of my house I don't want to talk to you anymore and so I could see that that physical manifestation of that battle going on inside of her and I just said mom please will you go and and you know I, I thought well do I say something just to like shock her and 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 make her go and and we had done it so many times that I just said you know I don't want to be the bad guy anymore and this has to be her decision. This has to be your decision, Mom. And so I went up to her and I just looked her right in the eyes and I just said, Mom, I don't know if I'm going to see you again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Trying to just say anything that would just shock her or make her understand. And she looked right at me and she said, Yes, I understand what you're saying and I love you very much. And she ended up passing away that night, and so we had, we did have a really good moment and a good talk. But what it taught me was never to put off tomorrow what you can do right now in with regards to your salvation. Now I know she is saved by grace, and she knew the Lord, but I also know that if you are unsure that he says that to claim that salvation day after day and to thank him for it. And so I encourage you, if you have not claimed that salvation for yourself, to ask the Lord to come into your life and to save you. And then you will have that assurance and you will have that rest in him of your salvation in Christ. 
What I learned through that experience is that today is the day of salvation. And it's so important to make that decision right now because none of us are guaranteed our next breath. None of us are guaranteed a tomorrow. So I encourage you to do that. You know, it was, she died right around my birthday, Mother's Day and her birthday. And I, I got really sad about the fact that she, I wasn't gonna be able to talk to her and she wasn't gonna be able to call me. And I kind of cried about it and I prayed about it and I offered it up to the Lord and I asked for his help in it. And he gave me such a sweet word. He said, you know, listen to your own voice and there she is. And I do hear her in my voice and I do see her eyes in my eyes so many times. And so that, that really just blessed me a lot to, to remember her and just to, to think about her whenever that would come into my, my mind or my ear when I would hear my voice sound like her. So grateful to have that experience with her and with the Lord. And so I encourage you to do what the scripture says, to proclaim salvation day after day, thanking Him that you have that assurance of where you're going if tomorrow never comes. So God bless you and I encourage you and I just thank you so much for letting me come into your home and I will hopefully see you in a minute. Bye.